perspective projection transformation coordinates. In this diagram, you can see an object PQ and perspective projection has been taken on the view plane. It can see it has reduced in size and if you go further beyond, it appears to be converged at a point C and this point is known as projection reference point. Now we will take up a point P and we will see the how the coordinate of the P is affected due to the perspective projection and here you can see that the P is the coordinate of P is X, Y, Z and I have shown in the dotted lines and this is I am showing the orthogonal projections and the view is happening in the Z directions. Therefore, because it is happening in the Z directions, therefore X and Y in the orthogonal projection, it will not change, only the Z will change. Therefore, at the point A, the X, Y is remain the same and the Z from Z to it became Z dash. And here in the point B, and x, y remain the same and it changes to z, p, r, p. But p dash is a perspective projection. Due to that, x coordinate and y coordinate both will change. And another thing to be mentioned here that in the orthogonal projection, whatever the z coordinate, it will be the same in the perspective projection if we view in the z directions. Now you can see in this diagram there are two similar triangles. One is P A P dash, another is P B C. And therefore I have written these are the two similar triangles. And we know the property of the similar triangle. Therefore A P dash divided by B C is equal to P A divided by PB by the properties of the similar triangle and that I, I just consider it is equal to U. It is to be mentioned here that P dash is an arbitrary point corresponds to the perspective projections and therefore P dash may be location of the P dash may be any anywhere on the line P and C. Another point is important that to be mentioned here that in the dotted lines from P to B you can see this corresponds to the viewing. This corresponds to the our viewing axis and this is the Z axis. Therefore viewing is taking place along the Z axis and perpendicular to the Z axis is AP dash it is corresponds to the X axis and the Y axis is perpendicular to the both Z axis and X axis and that cannot be shown in a two dimensional screen. Therefore, Y axis is not shown here and this is the I had to mention that. After that, already I told the relationship and that relationship already we, we, it is showing in the equation number one and that will be replaced by the coordinates that I am showing here that is been replaced by the coordinates and after replacing by the coordinates we after substituting that value we are coming to a relationship of perspective projection for x coordinate and that is the and this is the original x coordinate and this is the coordinate corresponds to perspective reference point and u already I mentioned what is the u and that relationship we are get, getting and already I told that y coordinates is uh, not shown here because it is very similar to the uh, x coordinate effect affected it will be y coordinate will be affected very similar to the uh, x coordinate therefore we I can write that y dash will be like and just x will be replaced by the y and then I am coming to the how to find the relationship of the Z. Therefore, here I am showing the Z coordinate. Here I am showing the Z coordinate, how I find found the relation of the Z coordinate relationship of the perspective 
z uh, coordinates with the original coordinates and that is the relationship we found here i am showing the view plane and in that view plane uh, that coordinates of a perspective projection are xp yp and zvp and why the z is with a different subscript because in that because the view is taking place in the z axis and therefore z coordinate will be affected by the perspective projection differently than how the x and y coordinate will be affected and z co jet coordinate would be just, just a distance as in the orthogonal projections and but the x p and y p will be affected uh, according to the perspective projections therefore the subscripts are different for uh, jet jet coordinates and that also i have to mention here now we our aim is to find xp and yp now we can see here from the already found, already we have derived the equation 2 3 4 and if we substitute e equal to 0 then it coincides with the original coordinates and that we are showing if it is uh, e equal to 1 then the perspective projections coordinates are coincides with the projection reference point and here what i am showing here now next at the view plane at the view plane the perspective projections z coordinate exactly same as the already already i have told it is a vp and and it is similar to the orthogonal projection because the view is view is taking place accord in the z directions therefore z dash of the perspective projection can be replaced by the this this if you substitute in the uh, equation number four we get the value of u and that u what is that u u corresponds to the view plane and where the view plane is placed and u will be determined by this and therefore u here u corresponds to the view plane's distance from the original point the point p and now we'll substitute that u to the equation number to what we have derived earlier and that we have we can find the xp exactly in the similar way we can we will substitute the value of u in the uh, equation in the in this equation uh, related to the y coordinates and that we are we are finding the yp and therefore xp and yp are affected in the perspective projection and we found the xp and yp correspond it is corresponds to the view plane if these two points are, are lies on the view plane and zvp because it is differently affected exactly in the how it is uh, it is affected in the orthogonal projection exactly similar thing similarly happening therefore uh, it is not affected because the our view is taking place according to in the z axis therefore z coordinates of the perspective view will be affected differently than the x and y coordinate now we'll discuss the special cases the first special case is that projection reference point is on the z axis which is a viewing axis also in you know that in z axis the x coordinate and y coordinate both are zero therefore x coordinate refer reference to the projection reference point and y coordinate reference to the projection reference points are both are zero and if we substitute in the equation what we have derived in the equation five you can see equation five and six and that if we substitute that and you can you can see this part will be completely eliminated this part is completely eliminated because x p r p equal to zero and therefore here also y p r p is equal to zero therefore we will get this equation it's a, it's a very simple and next we'll go for another uh, case therefore here the projection reference point is at origin and as it is an origin therefore all these coordinates are zero and if we substitute we'll get 
these two equations, the xp and yp will get these equations. Now we'll consider that the view plane is on the uv plane. Here uv plane is nothing but xy plane and we know that in xy plane z coordinate is 0. Therefore z vp will be 0 and if we substitute that z vp equal to 0 in the equation number 5 and 6 will will come to this uh, will will get this xp and yp and that is the uh, things and next we'll discuss the next case in that case the view plane in the uv plane already i told we uv plane is nothing but a xy plane and also the projection reference point on the z axis because uv because view plane is on the uv plane therefore z vp is equal to 0 and projection reference point on the z axis therefore x prp and y prp both are 0 and if we substitute that value in the equation number 5 and 6 we can get x p and y p and that is all about the uh, perspective projection transformation coordinates.